everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a showmanship look for the Congress since it is actually going on right now, but hopefully I get this up in time for the people that are doing showmanship and you can always use this somewhere else too. So let's get started. First I'm going to prime my face using the L'Oreal Miracle Blur. And in showmanship you're going to be up close and personal with all the judges, so you really want to look flawless. So this primer is going to smooth out all of your pores, it's going to make your skin so smooth and when you put your foundation on the top you will just look perfect. So I'm focusing this in my T-zone, on my pores, on my nose, on my chin since I have a lot of um, texture and then smoothing it around my face. Next I'm going to spray my face with the H2O Plus Face Oasis Mist. And the trick with foundation is going to be find, finding something that makes your skin look perfect without looking cakey or looking like overly dewy or anything and you do not want SPF for it because at the congress, especially if you win, there's going to be a lot of pictures taken of you so try to avoid SPF foundation. So today I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and definitely be sure to blend this down your neck, especially for showmanship. So I'm bending this in, blending this in with the Sonia Kasha dual fiber brush that came in the Ombre Obsessed set. Then I'm taking a little bit more on my sponge and adding that to any places that I need more coverage. By putting it on a sponge, it's going to shear it out enough that it covers, but it doesn't build up and look cakey. Now for concealer, I follow that same rule, that you want to find something that doesn't look too cakey, but it gives you the coverage and the highlight that you need. So I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in Light Fair, and I'm going to take this down the sides of my nose in a triangle form under my eyes, and then down the center of my face. Now to set my under eyes, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And once again, I am going to bake, so I'm going to take a sponge, a dry sponge, and I'm going to set this under my eyes in a very intense amount, and then let it sit for a couple of minutes. And while that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I'm using my MAC 137 brush to just do a very light dusting. Then I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm using the first two contouring shades. Again, you don't want to do anything too drastic, but you do want to define your face. Then to clean up my contour, I'm taking my same Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to carve out my contour. So I'm going to bake that area, just like I am under my eyes, but I'm going to use it to carve out my contour. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go directly under my contour line and in towards my mouth. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC20. Um, this is just going to ensure that your makeup looks beautiful and it lasts all day. And to highlight, I'm going to take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And then I'm going to blend that in with my sponge. I 
already went ahead and primed and set my eyes, so that's already done, and now I'm going to go with my eyeshadow. So for my eyes today, I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Little Mini Palette. The first shade I'm going to use is this color right here. It's a taupe, a kind of neutral taupe color. And I'm taking that on my Morphe M504 very lightly and buffing it into my crease. Next, I'm taking this color right here on that same Morphe M504 and running it through the crease as well. And I'm keeping this a little bit higher than that last shade. Now on a MAC 217, I'm taking that first color and I'm going to define my crease a little bit. And now as you can see, I'm keeping my eye open for this so I can really see where I'm placing that color. Then I'm just taking this last chocolatey brown shade and mixing it with that first shade we used on the MAC 217. I'm going to pack this on the outer V. Then I'm going back to my Morphe M504 and I'm just buffing out the edges, no additional product. Then I'm going back in with those two colors and intensifying that outer V again. Now on a wet brush, I'm picking up a mixture of these two sparkly shades up here. Then I'm switching back to my MAC 217 with no additional product and just blending out this crease. Now I'm just picking up the darkest matte brown shade and I'm putting that into the crease to really add a lot of definition and darkness. And then on my finger, I'm picking up this color right here. It is a champagne kind of glitter. Then for a brow bone highlight, I'm using this color right here. Then on a pencil brush, I'm taking this color right here and smudging it on my lower lash line. For my waterline, I'm going to take Yee Yo by Urban Decay. And I'm going to tight line with the L'Oreal Infallible Black Liner. And I am going to pop off camera and go ahead and do my lashes, my liner, and my mascara. So I'll be right back. So there are the eyes complete. I went ahead and used these Socialized Glamorous lashes. So these are very long and very dramatic, but they also look natural because they're wispy still. So that's really what you want to go with for showmanship. So now to add a little bit of color, I'm using the Instain Blush by The Balm in Houndstooth. And lastly for lips, I'm taking the NYX Deep Red Lip Liner. And if you're doing a red lip, you want to find a color that complements your outfit and doesn't take away or distract or, you know, cause chaos. <laughs> so I have a blue showmanship outfit, so I'm using something that's deeper and more blue tone. And then I'm going over that with the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil in Corella. Then I'm just going to clean up my lips with a little bit of foundation. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. As you can see, I have blue and I used a blue toned red lip so it complements it rather than taking it away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any others you would like to see, I will try my best to do them, so leave them down in the comments. Be sure to give this look a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to be sure to subscribe to my Instagram account as well. It is under Horse Show Beauty, and follow me there to see upcoming videos, and I do have the giveaway posted there as well, so be sure to check that out. Bye guys, I'll see you guys in my next video.